Hello everyone. So today we are just going to make a summarizing UI by using an streamlit app. Uh, the module, the summarization module, uh, we have already trained in our past video. So if you have not seen the video, please go and watch. So you will get insight of what we are just going to do today. The model that we have trained earlier, I have just, uh, I have already kept it in my. Uh, hugging face face so you can just uh, download it from here for this project so basically what we are just going to make is uh, we are just going to serve and front end for anyone that can be integrated with any platform uh, for later use so you can just use it for and for building your business or something else so so let's take an example such as uh, if we just type Wikipedia uh, C R I S T I O N A L F Ronaldo and we'll just take its first paragraph and if we keep in the our project then the system will run in the background and you'll just give the summarized text of an value in a few seconds so this is the summarized text for the above input paragraph that we just borrow from an wikipedia so so you can just see the summarized paragraph is not that accurate compared to an paragraph above so input paragraph so if uh, because that is because i have not trained it for much epoch and for much uh, time period uh, that's the reason the summarization is not that good but if we train the model in better epoch and for better quality of and text you can get a better result now let's see how to build this thing so to build the UI first we need an streamlit streamlit we can just uh, you do a pip install I have already installed it using a pip so I do not have to reinstall it uh, and we just need an t5 tokenizers and t5 modules for then to load our modules and tokenizers the module can be down uh, the tokenizer can be directly downloaded from the uh, summarization from an uh, summarizing just you can just use uh, this for to download the tokenizers and for, to download the model you can just write same thing the basically we can we just have to now to provide an uh, text area we can just provide an text area in our stream app that we have for an uh, for giving our paragraph there now now this might be empty and might not be empty so if if it if if it is not empty the tool the text input will be true and if it is true we'll just take an text input from it uh, and we'll just tokenize it using the encode plus and we'll just pass and tokenize text input ids and attention marks from in our model uh, the basically to total length of a summarized text will be 256 length uh, we'll just cache the uh, cache the tokens uh, according to it so no reloading of an token will be allowed it uh, if the token is already it was already present in the past the use cache will just uh, use it from the from it uh, in rather than loading it again and again the generated tokens the model provides and generated tokens the generated tokens is a list of list so we'll just uh, for loop in the the list and we'll just tokenize the and uh, we just decode the generated tokens from it that the generated tokens will be the predicted output for our module the prayer contains the summarized text that we have seen earlier when we pass the output when we pass the paragraph in the module in our ui so to run the stream uh, to run this program i just written everything in influencer file so to run this program we can just do stream li stream return infe inc influence the pi right, the new version you just uh, the new window will pop up 
saying we'll just new window we will pop up that the same like the thing that we just did earlier in our first intro video so that's all for today so if you like the video please like share and subscribe so in the next video we will create custom question answer generation where uh, given a question and context will just provide an answer based on the context